I'm working on the philosophy of mathematics, uh, and well, to put it very briefly, the the dissertation is just saying that all the theories we have right now are making mathematics something much more complicated than it seems to be. So they don't really explain how most people learn mathematics or how they can work with mathematics in, uh, say, in high school. How come you accomplished this in such a short time? Uh, well, I think it's two things. Uh, on the one hand, I've had a lot of very good supervision and stimulation uh, in the Netherlands and uh, again, especially here at Stockholm University. Uh, and on the other hand, I've just always been doing things a bit quicker. <laughs> Not entirely sure why or, or how, but uh, that's, that's been since forever. But anything concrete, uh, do, you, do you read faster? Do you write faster? Yeah, all of the above. <laughs> uh, so yes, I read uh, faster than most people, but uh, I also seem to process things faster, so I don't remember exactly what I read. But I usually just come up with something new as soon as I've read something. So the, the, the whole process is somehow faster. Um, but probably the main thing was that I was just bored all the time. Uh, I, I was doing everything much quicker than, than everyone else, so I was just not doing anything half of the time. Uh, and that was at least a clear enough indication that I could do something more and start skipping grades. Uh, so here, for example, uh, we have uh, a description of how you can talk about a specific object. They're very common things, so numbers, for example, or functions, integrals, uh, pretty much every single thing that mathematics is about. So now you have a PhD. What, uh, what's next for you? Uh, well, since my research so far has only been pointing out a problem. Uh, of course I want to solve that problem now. Uh, and fortunately I can keep working as a researcher in, here in Stockholm for another three years. I hope uh, that people are now, or that philosophers are now going to pay more attention to this empirical work and are going to look at, at these cases of people doing mathematics too. Uh, and then that could lead to more uh, work on how we learn mathematics, which may eventually also be very useful for the psychologists and the pedagogical scientists. So it may actually improve how we teach mathematics, uh, just because then we might be able to understand mathematics better than we do now.